Okay, so in this problem we have two cars, A and B, which have weights of WA and WB respectively, which strike each other at speeds of VA and VB1. We're told after a short collision time the cars stick together. Given this information, we're asked to determine this, the X and Y components of the velocities of the cars after collision. So basically here, if we're looking at this thing from the top down, and I draw a free by diagram of the net system A plus B, interestingly enough, we actually get that there's no forces acting on the system. As a result of that, actually linear momentum is conserved in every direction in this problem. I'm going to simply choose here to apply linear impulse momentum in the x and y directions respectively, as defined there on the right hand side. So if we apply this in the x direction, what I'm going to have is the initial momentum in the x will be minus the mass of b, so the weight of b divided by g, times vb1. And that's going to equal post impact the total mass of the system, which is the weight of a plus the weight of b divided by g times what I'm going to call via the system 2 in the x direction. And so from this I can cancel out the g's and I'll get that the velocity component in the x direction post impact is going to be given by minus wb divided by quantity wa plus wb times vb1. So that'll give me one of my answers to the problem. I can also then apply the linear impulse momentum equation in the y direction and if I do that, initially I'm going to have the mass of A, so WA divided by G times VA1. And post-impact, I'm going to have the mass of the total system, the weight of A plus the weight of B divided by G times what I'll call V2Y. Again, I can note that the Gs are going to cancel here. And I can solve for V2Y and get that V2Y is going to be WA divided by quantity WA plus WB times VA1. Now, it doesn't explicitly ask for it in the problem, but you can piece those together if you'd like and find the total velocity of the system at state 2. And if you do that, you'll get that's equal to minus WB divided by WA plus WB times VB1 in the I direction plus WA divided by WA plus WB times VA1 in the J direction. And from there, you can plug in the values you're given and determine the velocity of the total system post-impact. I'll leave that up to you to do. Best of luck.